I'm so excited to welcome onto the show for this afternoon King Bungani the third, who will be my guest. He's not a, he is not a, he's not new here. He has been here in the past. Bayet. Bayet. I'll bring a little about to Bayet. Greet the people. Bayet. I greet you all, the people of God. Bayet. Wow. Here we are, Baba Bunga. Bayet. Uh, 2020, having a conversation that starts mm. off in time immemorial mm. and is disturbed during the colonial times. What we now have as houses of royalties and the challenges that they are facing. I will not hurry you today mm. as, as we are really sitting, I think, on the climax of the conversations we've had for the past few days. Because this for me begins to discuss the whole concept of UCA, the right. United Kingdoms of Africa. And how can we unite these kingdoms if we don't know what the kingdom Absolutely. is made out of? So maybe let's just draw back and I can reduce a bit of uh, uh, temper and, and anger as we go just go back the back so that we can reflect from the back coming forward. Right. In the ancient times, as much as you can remember. How does one end up as a king? Thank you very much. Uh, today, what we are going to be doing, because we are going to be separating boys from men. I still repeat. We are going to be separating boys Bayet. from men. Bayet. In the ancient times, and the majority of them, why I'm saying this thing, mm. the majority of them do not subscribe mm. to what I am going to be telling you about today. Bayet. In the ancient times, if you remember, when we spoke about Zomo Ngang, Zomo the first, mm -hmm. who came out of the waters of the river Nile, next to the reeds, who was wearing the leopard skin Bayet. with his wife who came with a mandate from heaven appointed in heaven as the king to be the custodian of the universe mm. Zomo he mainly explained that I am only the ambassador of God why did he say that because there are qualities that makes you to be a king by it those qualities have to do with spirituality mm. and not just ordinary spirituality Bayet. but a divine spirituality that you are aligned to and Bayet. that spirituality it connects you with the creator it connects you with the cosmos mm. it connects you with the waters it connects you with the world at Bayet. large and then it makes you to see things that no human can see Bayet. Members who are to be complementing what you are to do as a king should also have those qualities. Bayet. Now, a king is somebody who is divine. Bayet. And I still repeat it again. Who is divine? Who does not have blood in his hands? Somebody who is clean spiritually. Somebody who is a seer. Somebody who connects with God because he takes others from upstairs. Bayet. Not what you see today. Lot of kingdoms that you see today, I'll go back and give you qualities. But lot of, I, I need to emphasize this one. Lot of kingdoms that you see today are a, a man-made kingdoms that their foundation is constructed with blood. Right. And those are not kings, are not kingdoms. As I was talking about the divinity, a king is somebody that in his community the people would go for a divine intervention mm. by it is the person if the the people around they are having problems they know that when they enter that palace that space of the palace they are going to be healed by it they know that if 
there's a there's a, a problem when they've they've met with the king that problem is over because the king is somebody who is placed on earth by god he's a representative of god he's the man who communicates with god a king is somebody if children are to go for the initiation they know that they they seek a permission from him he's the one who would communicate with god but yes when children are to go and 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 celebrate or the communities are to celebrate the 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 existence of Zomongangi, the first mm. they know that when they carry those reeds they know that this is the man who would then connect us with Zomo, who would connect us with God in terms of rituals. This is a man that he is all, always divine, not somebody who wears a, a leopard skin without the permission of God. Today, they see a, a, a leopard skin as fashion. It is not fashion. It has a significance. Oh, yeah. That's why Romo Nang, when he came out of the river, he was blessed to dress up with the leopard skin. Oh, yeah. And those that today you see, they are wearing leopard skins. They think that uh, uh, then it signifies them to become chiefs or, or kings. The only person who wears a leopard skin, he is a king. Oh, yeah. The chiefs, they don't wear their leopard skins right. onto their shoulders. They wear a little uh, leopard skins to cover themselves here, to show that these are people who are linked with God. Because the people who wear that, when I say chiefs, then, then there's, there's, there's another one that they, they wear the leopard skins around. Right covering th th themselves around that leopard skin it then signifies that person to be the crown prince appointed by god remember a child who has to take over to become a king god gives the instruction god gives the signal to the seer to the king to the wife because the wife of the king must be also a divine person before they even born before they even born and these are people who connect with God. If you remember what I said earlier on, Zomo mm -hmm. came out of the river, of the waters, with his wife. That's why a, a king is chose, uh, they, chose they, they, they choose a wife for him. He does not choose a wife for himself. She must be a divine wife who connects with the cosmos, right. who connects with the waters, who connects with God. Not just an ordinary person where you will just decide to say, I am a chief. Chiefs are not people who have authority. Kings, they take their cue from heaven. They take, they take their authority from heaven. God tells them what to do on earth. Not chiefs, not politicians. The structure, it goes as follows. It is God... <coughs> It is the kings on earth, together with the chiefs, and then it becomes the legislature, the lawmakers who takes orders from the divine upstairs. That's how it works. Not what you see today, where you see people calling themselves kings, but are wearing regalias that are full of blood. If you go to the foundation in terms of South Africa. If you remember how colonizers killed our forefathers, how they destroyed what we call ancient or uh, uh, authentic or, or, or traditional uh, systems of rulers, indigenous knowledge. the indigenous leaders of this country, you would see that the colonizers came up with their own systems. And the way they came from, they've already had blood in their hands. And they killed our forefathers. And they created their foundation. The majority of the kings you see today in South Africa, they are a foundation of the colonizers. 
That's why you see them wearing the full regalia of the colonizers. That military gear. That military gear is full of blood. And uh, if you look at their foundation, when they say they have a kingdom, they've killed a lot of people. They force a lot of people to be under them. In terms of the tradition of heaven, you don't kill people, you don't force people to be under you. A kingdom is created from heaven. You don't force people like the other kingdoms they did here in South Africa. They forced people to be under them. Imagine you are Maponga. You are forced to be under Pungan. How are you going to be connecting with your ancestors, Msamo? You are speaking to your ancestors and you call yourself Pungan. Meanwhile, you are not Pungan, you are they Maponga. Don't know, they don't even know you. This is the system that was created by the British here in South Africa. Everybody calls himself with a certain name. I mean, I am Zulu. Imagine all these people that were forced by Shaka to be under this particular blooded kingdom. It's a blooded kingdom. Let me repeat again. It's a blooded kingdom because the foundation was founded with blood. Mm. What I am talking about, it's a kingdom that does not have blood. You can want to justify it today. Mm. Based on that foundation, leader of the same foundation, you put the crosses on the table. You put the statue of Mary. You want to address your people. You want to say to your people, I minang sindisi we man. It does not work that way. Let me, let me repeat it. It does not work. Your foundation is full of blood. You have killed people for you to sit where you are seated. Today, I am talking about the right foundation. That is sacred. That is of God. And that foundation, it has these following principles. Not yet. Divinity. Spirituality. Spirituality. Out of spirituality, because spirituality molds you to be what you are supposed to be. It connects you with the creator. It connects you with the cosmos. It then defines your culture. Then it defines your traditions. Then it defines you as a nation. Not what we see today here. 